Hey guys, this is Satyajit Patnaik. Welcome back to my channel. And today's topic is going to be on one of the important announcements. So from the past couple of months, we were working on some research project into audio, something related to audio classification or something related to some auto ML kind of concept. I will be talking about all those things, but finally the day has come where our research is done. The first version of our library is going live. So we'll talk about all these features of this particular library. Let's get started. Many of you know when, when it comes to data science, many of you have worked on classical machine learning problems. Many of you have worked on image classification problems and so many, so many projects people have worked on across the industries freshers, many, many people have been working on multiple use cases, right? But have you heard of any kind of audio classification problem statements? I mean, of course you might have, but the number of use cases, the number of usage, the number of people knowing about what exactly audio classification is, what is audio, how to deal with audio details, how to deal with audio files, because audio files could be of multiple types. It could be an mp3 it could be a wave file it could be a mpeg file it could be anything right and there is a lot of things which can be done in audio but there are very few resources very few courses talking about these areas now all this idea came from one of my research projects where i was working on audio i will not be able to tell you the exact use case but it was something related to audio classification and I faced a lot and lot of issues while doing that use case. So there were a lot of problems and I took all my problems and with the help of Nilesh and Kalash, we were finally able to create some automated library into the audio space. Of course, you know about AutoML, you know about PyCaret, LazyPredict, you know about a lot of automated time series model. So many people are aware of a lot of AutoML products a lot of auto ml libraries but nothing into the audio areas so welcoming you all to this particular library which is auto wave automatic audio classification library where any kind of audio you can feed in and it will be able to do some classification now i know that audio classification itself is a different field of study because there are a lot of concepts like fourier transformation mail mail filters there are a lot of concepts because audio is a one dimensional data, right? Amplitude with respect to time, amplitude with respect to frequency. So how to deal with 1D? Many of you know about CNN 2D, you know about CNN 3D, but you might not, I mean, of course you know about CNN 1D, but might not have used it, right? So anyways, we'll talk about all those things in some of our future videos as well, because I'm also coming up with an end to end audio related course which will i'm not pretty sure some of the parts will be live uh, in my channel but the rest of them will go live into some some sort of platforms like udemy or something but i'll keep you notified so anyways jumping onto the use case which is we have created a fancy and a very creative uh, library which is called as auto wave automatic audio classification library I'll quickly give you a walkthrough about the creators. Now he's Nilesh. Of course, I will send his uh, uh, I'll send his LinkedIn profile in the description below as well. And another guy is Kalash. I hope everybody knows about Kalash because he has been working with me since quite a long time. He first joined Bing Datum as an intern, and since then he has been working with me with all my research activities. And AutoWave is a complete audio automatic classification library with other features like plotting audio segments, audio augmentation, data loading, etc. So you can definitely go through all these features. What are they? But I'll quickly take you to the demo file where we have talked about how to deal with different things. Of course, how to use the prerequisites is already mentioned. You can install simple audio and then you can just pip install audio auto wave and get started with it how to use we have provided the demo folder i'll talk i'll talk about the demo folder as well importing the classes for playing audio so let me take you to the demo file 
So this is a demo file which we ran on one of the public data sets. Trust me, we have also run this particular library on very complex use cases as well. Complex industry level use cases and we have got like astonishing results like 89-90% of accuracy. And of course, this is just the version one, right? And we are open for issues, open for bugs. In case you find any issues, find any bugs, please report them. And if you at least like a little bit about the concepts, what we have done and why we have created, please don't forget to start this repository, which will help us to understand how many of them are actually trying it out. But anyways, so I'll quickly talk about audio files. I cannot really explain what was the problem which occurred while I was, you know, uh, doing my research activities into the audio area because there were lots and lots of issues, file conversion issues, file reading issues, understanding how to plot, what, what to extract, what features to extract. So a lot of things were there. And of course, in version one, we have made some of the concepts but we are also working on version two, which will go live in a couple of days. And of course you will be notified as well. So for playing the audio file, it's simple. You have to just do the audio player import and then just call the wave file for converting your audio file format from any format to any format. None of the tools, none of the libraries currently are offering this feature. So you can actually, uh, you know, convert any format to any format. Sometimes it might not work if you are sending those files via mails or via WhatsApp and then trying it out. Sometimes it might fail, but like it will say that error converting the file. But if you are downloading the files and you are using the raw files, it will be simple. It will be a simple step. Then comes your augmentation. Now, augmentation, everybody knows about augmentation, right? Like in your normal data we used to do upsampling downsampling in your image data we used to do image augmentation similarly in audio data there are different types of augmentation now just imagine i am telling something it's an audio file it's an audio input right how to augment let's say in images we were just rotating cropping zoom in zoom out noise all these things similarly in audio also you can add noise you can cut down, trim down some of the areas. You can do some pitch shifting. Let's say now my pitch is something and then you can pitch it up or pitch it down. So there are multiple ways of how we can do it. So here there are two features which we are offering. One is augment file, augment one file and augment an entire folder. So you can see augment one file code is already here. But if you want to see how the augment entire folder looks like you can go to this augmenter file so this is one augment file and one we have augment folder that means in case you have a lot of audio files and in one single folder let's say 10 records you have you want 100 records you just you know you just have to call this augment folder and simple and then then you can just call uh, how much records do you want and it will automatically you know, randomly it will do some noise shifting or pitch shifting or some sort of activities and then it will give you the augmented files. Okay. And then code flow for training the model. You can see auto audio classification. We have already implemented everything inside. Augment folder is also present. In this, what they expect is you have a data frame like this. You have your labels that let's say you are dealing with some audio image audio data like disease versus non-disease that means you should have your labels you should have your file names use it in a data frame like convert the data into a data frame and then pass the data frame simple and then this is how it works now for reading the information because audio audio data has a lot of things sample size bit rates a lot of things are there so your properties will show you what is the file name and what are the different features like bitrate, how many frames and all those things. Then comes your plotting. Audio data, as I told you that it's one dimensions, right? So amplitude with respect to time and amplitude with respect to frequency. So we have created something which is under your autowave.plotting. 
you can see time frequency domain and in one go you can see the audio file in time domain or in frequency domain as simple as that and then wave plot there are different other features which we are providing wave plot spectral bandwidth plot and frequency domain all these things are already provided spectral roll off spectral centroid as i told you that if you are pretty much new into this you will not be able to understand what are these these are basically the sum of the spectral features okay so there are a lot of concepts like fourier transformations and all those things of course slowly slowly i will have some videos on that as well so that you can follow and audio classification is a wonderful use case it's a very unique use case you can just explore some of the industry level problems and then you can write it down in your resumes which is really good for plotting multiple files you can pass the entire data and this is how the plotting happens i'll quickly take you to the next step these are all your plotting features and then comes the main part which is your classification now okay and then comes your training model so we have auto audio classification training size and test size label encoding result data frame augment data if you want to augment it on the go itself you can augment it and this is how the accuracy of different classifiers looks like accuracy sensitivity precision and f1 score okay and this is the time taken so this is all about the automatic audio classification i mean i cannot really explain you what was the pain point when i was working on audio related data but of course with with different use cases it might behave differently so we are also trying out some different industry level research projects we are in touch with a lot of universities getting their you know audio data and we are trying to work on that as well once we have some end to end we already have some uh, i already have one of the use cases done in this particular library it's working really good i cannot make that use case live because of some constraint but of course if we have some permissions from some universities if they allow us then probably we can just run it and then share the results with you as well so that is it all about this particular library i hope you will enjoy this please start it if you want to fork it and try it out and uh, yeah it we also have the pip account i'll have to search for the pip account okay it's already there you can see pip install auto web so this uh, installation page will also be provided to you it has all the information who are the creators i mean honestly speaking most of the work has been done by nilesh and kalash i just had to share them my views some of my codes and the entire library building stuff automation stuff was done by both of them so it's like i mean i have just given them inputs and they are the ones who have actually built it really happy for them and we are also planning for some other use cases other libraries as well which are already in pipeline so yeah that is all about this particular video i hope you enjoyed it if you like please like share and subscribe the channel and download this library as much as possible show us some love show whatever you can and if you have any concerns write down in the comment box and i will be reaching out to you in case you have any questions thank you guys thank you bye bye